Hello everyone. My name is Ikko Yomoto. Today, I'm going to explain about transfers. And I have chosen one of my works called Ant's Nest Cup this time. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to design or draw whatever you want on your work. And then manipulate them with Photoshop later on. Originally, I drew these ants six or seven times bigger than actual size and made them smaller with computer. I think big to small works okay, but small to big won't. If you do, it will appear blurred and will lose the details. When you order your transfer, you basically have to send the images of your design. The supplier I normally deal with is called Heraldic Pottery in Stockholm Trent, and they take order sheet by sheet. I usually order with HD size, and you better fill the sheet with as many designs as you can, so that you can make the most of it. The transfer usually arrives in a few days after ordering it, so it's quite good. The transfer sheet you receive will look like this. The things you need to prepare for this are a pair of scissors, water in a shallow plate or tray, a bit of tissue, and the wall which you are going to stick the transfers. Okay, I'm gonna start demonstrating now. First of all, you clip out what you are going to work on and leave them on the surface of the water. Within a few minutes or less, the paper will start separating from the transfer and eventually it will go down to the bottom of the plate. So once they have gone separate, you take the transfers with your finger and then simply stick them on. The reason why it's better to use the shallow plate is once you get used to doing this, you'll probably work on several at the same time. And even if you leave them for long and the transfer starts to shrink, it's easy to collect them with the shallow plate. Make sure you are attaching the right side of the transfer onto your work. And if you fail, you will have a disappointing result. Honestly, it happens sometimes, especially if the transfer you are dealing with is small and with symmetry design. It could be very confusing, so you better watch out with that sort of design. Occasionally have a tiny air bubble accidentally under the transfer you are putting on. And if you fire your work without removing the air, your design will be ruined. So what I usually do once I have spotted the air bubble is using some tissue. 
I mix them wet with water and press it next to the bubble and slowly push it out. If you use your finger to do this, your nail might damage the transfer. So I believe you better to do it with something soft like this. Okay, done. Okay, now we've we got bus number 11 and number 12 here. Hello, Mother. How are you doing? Hi there. I'm fine, thank you. Could I have a cup of tea, please? Certainly, Mother. A cup of tea and some biscuits for you. Thank you very much, sir. By the way, this is really nice cup and looks very familiar to me. Where did you get this from? I'm afraid, but I can't tell you, madam. It's a confidential matter, so I'm sorry. Okay, well, that's a shame. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and see you next week. <laughs>